In this video I am going to show you how I use Media Monkey to organize uh, my music. I have a large library of over 100 gigabytes of music um, and I use the paid version of Media Monkey to uh, not only organize the files but also um, to correct the tags um, so I have a consistent library that has the proper ID3 tags but also a proper file structure. So this is nice if you're using a player that doesn't have a uh, proper ID3 tag um, playback or support. Um, it's also nice because I can easily find all any music I want. Um, I can click on the artist after clicking on the artist then I can choose the album and from there the tracks are titled with the track number with the dash and then the track title I do this because um, even if the player isn't reading the track uh, title uh, the track number from the ID3 tag it will still play it back in the correct order because of the title of the file names. So what I do is I go into Media Monkey, I go to Tools, Options, and there you're going to see Auto Organize. In Auto Organize, I have set up a rule that tells it that if I highlight um, tracks and tell it to Auto Organize, it puts it on my data drive. In the data drive, it puts it in a music folder. Within the music folder, we have artist folder, an album folder, and then the track number and the title. So then what I'll do is if I get new music, so right now I just downloaded, uh, bought this album off of their uh, Bandcamp. So I'll highlight it. I'll say play in Media Monkey. It'll start playing. I'll highlight the tracks, all of them go to properties and then what I do is I make sure that everything is populated that should be populated so if sign is not showing here then I know that the tracks have different artists out um, artist tags and I don't want different artist tags because then it'll make multiple folders so this is perfect artist is populated the album is populated artist album is populated the date is populated and artwork is populated. So this is what I would expect for uh, an album. Um, so I check all of this before going to the next step. If all this checks out, I go to properties, or I right click under now playing, and I go to auto organize. And here you can see, it's gonna move it to my music folder, the artist folder, the album folder, it's going to rename the tracks so they have track number dash track name. It's going to delete the empty folder. So whenever we say OK, it's moving the tracks. This pops up. It's asking if I want to move the album, um, album art with it. So I say move and you'll see right here. This is the folder that it was on on my desktop. I say move. So there it deleted the folder and now it's actually moved it into my data drive under my music folder we go to the artist within the artist the album wasteland volume 2 open that and there we go on top of it I've um, just a quick hint um, if you do end up using this software and you do organize all your music um, you can also download the paid version um, of the app for Android it's like three dollars and what that gives you is uh, Wi-Fi syncing so once I um, man uh, took the memory card and copied it over um, directly from the computer because I have such a large library popped it in my phone ran Media Monkey on Android and set up Wi-Fi syncing 
Now whenever I added this album, all I have to do is go on my phone and uh, sync it and it will put that album on there.